Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode, we are going to be discussing the Eagle Tree Vector and the one thing which I can say bad about the Eagle Tree Vector. And I'm going to be sending this to the guys over at Eagle Tree Vector Systems as a suggestion. So if you are from uh, Eagle Tree, howdy, gents, tiny little bit of positive, well, just a constructive feedback for you for the Eagle Tree Vector. So on the Eagle Tree Vector, and you're going to have to take my words to me because you won't be able to see it on the screen. We have rudder, aileron, elevator, and throttle, which are our standard outputs. That's happy days. But then we've got auxiliary one and auxiliary two. Now, I don't know how well you're going to see that on your screen. Now, the thing is, is that I am pretty sure as a software developer, it wouldn't be that hard for you to allow pass through to these two auxiliary ports. Now, why would I be interested in uh, straight through pass through for channels onto auxiliary one and auxiliary two. Well, let's take a quick look at the vector software to see what we've got right now. Currently, the auxiliary inputs can be used as inputs, such as an RPM sensor for our motor or motors, well, motor, and it can also be used as a temperature input as well, which is handy to keep on uh, top of the model, just check for overheating, etc., etc. We can also use them as outputs. Now that's the key point which I'd like to make here. We can use auxiliary one and two as inputs, so for an RPM sensor and for, an, uh, for a temperature sensor. But in the vector software, we can also set them as outputs. So we can use either of these two as secondary aileron, secondary elevator, or secondary rudders, and we can do that for both of them and we've got the option to reverse the outputs as well so there is a fair chunk of code around those two auxiliary outputs now my suggestion is actually very straightforward and also a practical uh, one for many fpv pilots which is that i would like to run pan and tilt now i am not requesting stabilization uh, i think that's a probably a step too far and also overcomplicates matters. All I'm simply look, looking for, and I know that I'm not alone in this request because I've spoken to many other vector pilots which would also welcome this feature as well. And by the way, if you are a vector user or maybe you're thinking about a vector and would like this functionality, do let us know in the comments section underneath this video, which is that I would like the ability to map uh, one of the other channels, maybe if we look here on the screen, the secondary rudder or the secondary elevator as a pass-through mode for an additional channel. So for example, we're using SBUS and in the uh, Pulse Train we have 14 channels. Maybe we set up on the transmitter as second elevator and second rudder as our pan and till inputs from our transmitter. That would then allow us for our camera to pan and tilt. Now, if I want to do that right now, unfortunately, I have to go and buy a third party SBUS to PWM converter, which adds in an extra failure point to the vector system because this extra wire is now being included in the system and an extra point of failure. Whereas that if we had the ability to use those auxiliary outputs and then use them for, in my case, it'll be pan, I won't be doing tilt, but they could be used for both pan and tilt and just be set through as pass-through outputs from the vector. So that's my request, to be able to use auxiliary one and auxiliary two as pass-through uh, channels, which we can set up in the software. So maybe you wanna set um, second elevator as being the pan survey, for example, and the secondary rudder as being a tilt survey, for example. Now, those two servos could be used for other means. For example, a trapdoor for a parachute hook, for example, um, as in one, another, one example, uh, or anything else which you'd like to control using a servo or other means. So that's my feature request at Eagle Tree Vector. I would like to see auxiliary one and auxiliary two as being uh, able to be set up as pass-through channels. We can set them up in here as the serial mapping uh, and then map those outputs to uh, external sources, which then myself and other pilots can use, in my case, for pan or pan and tilt, or for other means such as a parachute drop drawer. 
So that's it from myself, Matt. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode. If you like this suggestion, uh, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button underneath this episode. And of course, if you can think up of any more uses for those two auxiliary channels, do let me know in the comments section underneath this episode. And with that said, from myself, Matt, cheerios.